today uh, I've got something a little odd. Um, this is my swimming pool in my backyard. And what we have found is there's been some odd phenomena anomalies happening inside our pool. In the deep end of our pool, there's writing. It looks like some kind of writing, maybe Sanskrit or something. And I'm hoping by sharing it with you guys that maybe somebody will recognize it and hopefully tell me what it means. And then, you know, we can know. So um, just out of curiosity, it just kind of showed up there um, in the deep end of our pool, like I said. Now, as we go through this, um, showing you guys this in different, because uh, I don't know what direction you would read it, if it's, you know, up, down, uh, left to right, right to left, or, you know, how it would be um, uh, defined. But I have been sharing a lot of weird anomalies also in the skies. Does one have something to do with the other? I don't know. But it just seems like the unseen realm is becoming more and more visible to so many of us. So along with this, uh, showing, showing this, um, this is just proving that it's actually in my backyard. This is my swimming pool, you know, kind of authenticating it. And then we're, I'm going to go through some pictures, uh, took some snapshots of it. But in the snapshot stills, uh, another phenomena showed up in it. Like I said, it's like several different things are all happening simultaneously. So if you spook real easy, um, just a heads up, you know, uh, because if your spiritual eyes are open, you're going to see a lot going on here. And here's, and this is also a better shot of what is written uh, in the swimming pool. Uh, there's other little writings too, as you can see at the bottom. Now what I'm doing is going through a, like a filter and um, just running the filter back and forth over it so you're able to see more clearly the other um, figures, so to speak, that showed up as I was snapping the pictures. Um, some of them can look pretty different. Uh, others just look like a, a normal person would, from what I've seen in here. Um, some look like animals. Other, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going on. It's very busy. So uh, I'm really not sure what to think about that because I was just wanting to know what this meant. And then when I finally took footage of it, all of this popped up and showed itself also, you know, it's just, like I said, we've got so much going on in our skies. And the first thing I thought of was, well, you know, they talked about crop circles a long time ago. You know, those, maybe they were a communications, not necessarily a landing spot, but some kind of a message or something. And since I've seen so much going on in the sky, Maybe it's just a message or something. It's also been very um, chaotic, uh, for lack of a better word, with um, things going on in the the ether realm that uh, has I haven't really done a lot on YouTube and stuff because um, I've been kind of tied up with different uh, phenomena and anomalies and. You know, I, I know you guys are in the thick of it, too. And, hey, I'm there with you guys. Just know that my heart is there. I, I am in there with you in the thick of it daily, um, doing the best. And we are, we are making progress. I mean, uh, I can feel the difference already compared to how it was six, seven months ago when it was like, all of a sudden, it seemed like all-out war just got declared, and it was like, whoa, what the heck is this, you know? I still have a hard time wrapping my mind around how, um, once you get to know the Creator, 
uh, how there can ever be uh, an oppressing force um, or malevolent uh, and benevolent. I, I just have a hard time with that when you know the creator. It's like, what? How could this happen? You know, when everything's offered. I mean, I don't know. I mean, that I'm just mortal. I'm a human just like you guys taking it one day at a time and trying to stand on my ground and you know we don't have to take it you know we we have the right to stand in our own divine sovereign authority and to push back you know and to claim our own property our own body uh everything that's going on around your own home you know uh make sure you're owning it um if you want any kind of tips on how to stand your ground and claim the authority over your territory uh, that that was where i had to start with was claiming my my authority over my territory and then you know like evicting them saying you don't have the right to be here and you know if you have to then you just you file divine charges on them you just send them on up into the divine court because there is actually you know divine law it's nothing like the law, the Sharia law, or biblical laws and things like that. It, it's just, it's mainly about, uh, you know, our rights as a sovereign being uh, not to be encroached on, nor do we encroach on another. I mean, it's pretty simple, but there's several different ways that you can encroach on somebody's sovereignty. And especially if you're in the ether and you've got a little power behind you, you're in the invisible realm and you're misusing and abusing a privilege that was given to you we should turn them in i mean they they really if you can't handle and you're not mature enough uh to handle any kind of authority in that realm well then you shouldn't have it you, you just shouldn't have it especially since most human beings do not walk around in the know of who they are and wielding their authority so these guys just will come in and pretty much bulldoze them you know keep them in a mind trap or whatever and it's it's just not right so when we have our eyes open you know it really is doing a service to everyone else to go ahead and especially when you know that they have broken the law against your own personhood turn them in because there is a higher court believe it or not you know that old saying is above so below so just realize if it's a little chaotic down here it's a little chaotic up there too but it, it always starts up there and then they'll they'll you know give them the heap ho and then we've got to deal with the underworld because uh, we're in the middle. We're kind of stuck in the middle of it. <laughs> and then it went from up there, you know, and then, but, you know, um, they're able to be quantum. So uh, with the quantum abilities, we have the authority here in this realm. This is our realm. This is our, we have dominion here. And so we have the authority. So if we file charges, they go straight up and out of here. And we don't have to deal with them anymore. And if they continuously come back and pester or other ones do, ask for the authority to take their power away yourself and send them to court. And then once the case is heard or whatnot, they can get it back then. And when they, you know, until then, uh, you're left at peace. So just some some tips on some things to do on on those kind of things but if anybody understands what this says or means please tell me i've seen a lot of strange languages i did see um something that looked similar to one i've uh, these uh it's like signatures have shown up in my house in different areas and i saw the names of different uh, angelic beings it was very beautiful and it looked very similar to that what I'm seeing inside my home now this here is different I'm not sure maybe Sanskrit maybe Egyptian maybe Buddhism type um you know or I'm not I'm not sure but that in 
looking thing that kind of you know anchors in that anchor goes all the way around the uh, circle in the center it makes like a big overarching C over the look at, eyeball looking thing and then it's got like a little fish thing and it kind of loops around it's kind of odd it looks like a M with the loopy loop and so yeah like I said, I don't know what direction it goes, right to left, left to right. I was given the understanding that, see, I could see a hooded guy right there in the center, right above um, that, uh, that little symbolism there. That something opened a doorway through water. Water is a good conduit to go and realize we're separated by water, water above, water below. So, um, it's a good conduit to go uh, interdimensional. So I closed that door, but I still am curious to what that is so I can take care of it properly. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.